As the midterm elections loom, a rift is showing up among Democrats on immigration. Now, some say it's a better strategy to emphasize other issues, but not every candidate agrees. KPI X5 political reporter Melissa Kane on what California Democrats are saying. She joins us from the ICE office in San Francisco. Melissa? Yeah, Ken, the New York Times is now reporting about a memo being circulated among Democratic candidates for office, telling them that they should talk about immigration as little as possible. Now, it was written by two left-leaning think tanks in Washington, D.C., called Third Way and the Center for American Progress. And it's a national take on immigration and politics. So we wanted to know, does it play in California? How much should California candidates for office, who are Democrats, be talking about immigration? Trump is trying to characterize Democrats as an angry mob, and you play right into his hands when you say things like, let's abolish ICE, because most voters are not with you on that issue. According to the New York Times, a memo being presented in briefings to Democrats says they should be spending as little time as possible talking about immigration. And it is very difficult to win on immigration in states that Trump won in 2016. Uh, Nathan Ballard is a political strategist who works for Democrats, and he says in California, even Democrats who do want immigration reform don't rank it as high as jobs and health care. There are so many issues that Californians, according to the polling that I have seen, care so much more about than immigration reform. Try telling that to Kevin DeLeon. He's the state senator who's running to be a U.S. senator. This Democrat is challenging Dianne Feinstein and says voters do care about immigration policy. For all Californians, this is one of the top uh, priorities. Um, uh, putting food on the table and bread and butter issues are not exclusive to the issue of immigration reform. He says he doesn't want open borders, but he does want a path to citizenship for undocumented people who are here. We're talking about what do we do with the sizable population of hardworking mothers and fathers who have businesses, who own their homes, who have their children here. And he wants to abolish ICE. I think ICE has to be dismantled and it has to be reconstructed where they deal with serious violent criminal felons. Well, Ballard says that's out of step with most voters. This talk about abolishing ICE or, recon or abolishing it and then reconstituting ICE, it's just crazy talk. It's really coming from the far left fringes. Now, Kevin DeLeon also told us that he does not listen necessarily every time an advisor tells him no. He said if he listened every time folks in Washington, D.C. said no, he wouldn't have accomplished anything that he has. So he says he will continue to campaign and talk about issues in the way that are consistent with his values. Live in San Francisco, Melissa Kane, KPIX 5.